the well, good morning, everybody. Chris Cote here with Tanya Milberg at the Magical Morning, morning Sacred sir. Craft Surfboard Demo, right? Yes, yes. All right, okay, so this is where basically we all nerd out on the thing we love the most, the surfboard. Um, we have a bunch of shapers down here bringing all their goods, and uh, the waves are small, but we're gonna go ahead and try to rip them. We're gonna talk to some of these shapers down here. Tanya, you're gonna be going to the actual Sacred Craft Fair, right? Yes, I can't wait. I'm gonna interview a bunch of shapers, big time, legendary surfers. It's gonna be amazing. All right, see, we're actually professional here. We have a correspondent. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is gonna be a fun day. All right, well, uh, let's talk to some weirdos. I mean, shapers. <laughs> All right, so we're here with Mr. Steve Mast, uh, shaper of Mast Surfboards. <laughs> I see it right there, Steve Mast. Um, so coming up with a name for your uh, surfboard company, did you have uh, ideas in your head or were you just going to go with the, the old classic last name? Simple is easier. Simple is better. There you go. I was afraid I'd cheese it up too bad if I tried anything else. I notice on your shapes you say simple is better. Tell me, uh, you know, I, you have some beautiful boards down here. I saw... Um, the stubby tail twin fin out there. Um, tell me like the boards that you chose to bring down here and why. Um, this is actually every board that I own. They're all my personal boards and they're the boards I surf. So that's what I bring. Simple as that. Yeah. <laughs> Simple as that. Now uh, the magical morning uh, surfboard demo, pretty rad. Are you yourself going and checking out you know other boards? I know shapers like to uh, you know touch and feel everybody's surfboards, right? Yeah, you gotta fondle everybody else's boards too. Cop a free feel. All right, so uh, we're here with Joe and George from Plus One Surfboards. Now, um, tell me about something as cool as the magical morning. Um, like, how do you choose the boards that you want to let the people demo? Well, you have to have a look at each one and decide what looks the best. Well, yeah, and the best is, has to fit into those waves out there, which are about knee high. So we grab nothing longer than 5'10", I don't think, and nothing narrower than 20. Shapers, you know, are known... People who work at surfboard places are they're kind of known to be weirdos. You know, no offense. Um, why why is it that shapers are are a little bit more out there than say a, a bankers or lawyers? Oh man, probably. I mean, it's the lifestyle, right? <laughs> a lot of time spent in a confined space yeah. with a mascot. I don't, I don't want to talk about the chemicals or anything because that has nothing to do with it. I swear. Yeah, they, they don't deal with uh, weird chemicals. Now uh, let's get to these boards. You know, a lot of people. You know, a lot of people hate on SUPS, but I, I do it when the waves are like this. You know, th this is the, the funnest board you can ride for these conditions. This thing looks like a battleship, but like a stealth SUP disaster board. Because usually <laughs> SUPS are like, SUP usually these things are huge, right? Yeah, that's yeah. not huge. This is the short board. This is Joe's. It's 7.8 by what, 27 it? and a half to uh, four, and, four, and, four, and a four and a quarter. What's the average um, standard paddle board? Lengthwise, yeah, yeah, ten foot. Ten foot. So yeah, how tall is this? A little bit shorter. They're getting into the not mid nines. This one's seven eight. You can actually like turn and rip this thing. Short boards. He boosts on this. I mean, yeah. yeah he rips on this. Board. I, do I, have to I have to apologize for one thing though. I'm not a Pittsburgh Steeler fan. I'm oh, not a dude. Fan. I had to you know, I didn't even notice that you pointed out. I was just, happens. I was just gonna say I'm gonna ride this board, but I'm gonna ride this one now. <laughs> You came down to the beach and you noticed there was hundreds of awesome surfboards down here. You grab, I see you guys both grabbed a plus one. Um, are you going down the line? Are you going to try everything? Are you going to try to stick to one type of board? What's your plan for the day? Well, um, I just want to stick to like five foot and six, around five and foot six and, and stuff. Okay, between five, five and six foot. Now, what, what's your, what's your uh, plans for all these boards? I mean, short boards, long boards, eggs, fishes, squiggly squid boards. Like, what, what, what's the real goal here today? Uh, I, I really, I'm trying to get a new board. I'm saving up, and I just wanted to try all the different uh, lengths and stuff. And I want to try and get a shorter board, so I'm trying out all the widths and stuff. Oh, okay. Maurice Cole, you're uh, yeah. you're you're uh, actually you know legendary shaper, a ripper, a cancer survivor. Uh, this is the magical morning, and every morning for you must be magical these days. Oh uh, yeah, I'm a cancer killer. Yes. Yeah, I killed that thing. So <laughs> it's so good to be back here and not having to deal with health issues. That's Definitely. a good one, and it's so nice to be here in surfboard world. Hell yeah, well we squashed that, now we can just straight up talk about surfboards. Um, I know you have a lot of, uh, a lot of 
crazy surfboard shaping knowledge stored in your brain. Um, give us like a give us your top three things that you think are going to revolutionize uh, modern shortboards. Well, you know, for, for the last few years, well, for the last five or eight years, I've been doing a lot of toe surfing with Ross Clark Jones. And um, we've got some waves down our way that's sort of a bit like Jeffrey's Bay on steroids. Long, so, big waves. Long, big waves. And it'll hold 30, 40 feet. And it's some of the best big waves. That, yeah, I'm not going to say too much. You're, you're <laughs> Don't all, take me there. It sounds no, scary. no, no. Sorry. Yeah, it is scary. Yeah, yeah exactly. But so what we've been developing over the last few years, it's, it's become my Formula One. I'm developing these tow boards where on 20 and 30 foot waves, you can come square off the bottom, come into the top, and do big hacks, and go fast and down. And, I mean, it's, it's pretty amazing. And what I've had to do is, is with Ross, because we're best mates and have been for you know, half, three quarters of a lifetime, is developing these insane boards and I've ended up with these really big concaves, less wetted surface area, these they're now one inch one inch thick. Little little guys. They're really tiny now. They look like um, snowboards. And uh, we just had some swell earlier this year which you know about two months ago which is the biggest best surf I've ever seen in my life and even Ross said it was maybe 30, 40 feet. Like it was much bigger than Waimea. And we got these new boards going and when I see these boards going at those speeds, I go, wow, it's like, it really is like Formula One. I'm finding out what happens with edges, fins, you know, sizes, how, I, I question everything. Because at those speeds, you find out what really works and what doesn't work. All the bullshit in the world. You can talk about, the, you know, oh, wow, I think this does this, I think this does that, but I can promise you, you'll find out at those speeds because you'll fall flat in your face and if you're still alive afterwards then you really can blame when the you're going, When you're going 50 miles an hour on a surfboard you can tell if the fins are going to hold and if yeah. the rail is sharp enough. Well we've found out it's about 80, 80, 80, miles. 80 miles an hour. There sorry, you go. That is, that, that is that, formula. That was an under exaggeration. <laughs> Maurice Cole, genius, legendary shaper. Is that too much? That's, that is too much, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. we'll just say How about genius. Feral fossil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a very different board than I've ever tried before. Uh, I forgot that half the board was missing, so I kind of stepped off the, the tail. I think the, if the waves are bigger, it would probably be a good board to, good board to surf. All right, so we're here with John Wegener, um, Wegener Surfboards. Now uh, we're looking at finless, well, kind of finless. Tell us, tell us about this. Tell us about this particular board first. Well, Wegener Surfboards has been making the Aleas for the last couple of years, and we've had a lot of people who want to do a little more paddling, get out and be able to get out in the waves and, and kind of have a training wheels type of vehicle for jumping from their normal board to their Alea board. So I kind of worked on this, and what I got here is kind of a classic Alea template and, uh, and some minor rudder fins, and uh, that kind of in the sense of helping you paddle the foam and then having a, a classic template of an Alea, so it, it's kind of an in-between board. It's an entry-level Alea. See, I was calling it a Laya. Well, you're is right. It, it is a Laya. Well, no, is it a Laya? I've heard both ways. It's properly pronounced, I guess, in the Hawaiian or the language they use. It's a Laya. A Laya. A la, a laia, yeah. Something like yeah. that. I I've, I've have a hard time. Dude, I... I you know, I I've been calling it both. So um, now this this board right here, have you have you ridden this thing in like some waves of consequence? This board I finished about three days ago, and if you saw all the waves today, this is all I've gotten it in. It feels good when I can get a little double up or something, and it, it rides real nice. I'm really happy with it. But I sure. I haven't really been able to test it to where I want it to be yet. You haven't been able to push it to the limit. And I and I have a little bit of ability to alter the shape. I, I glass I glued the wood fins on the bottom here. And it's just wood, and so I can keep shaping these until I get it kind of where I want it to be, hopefully. Oh, that's right. I've never seen that glued on. Now, uh, now let's get back to here. Uh, we got some, uh, these are uh, the, I guess you'd say the, these are the, the modern Alaya. Modern Alayas, yeah. And uh, what we're doing on this, you know, the Alayas are really fun, especially in small waves. And, and, uh, and they're, they're a little bit... A little bit to learn on. You got to figure them out, but once you learn how to ride them, they're really uh, alt they alter your mind frame of surfing. You get a lot of speed without working really hard to get it on small we on small waves, and uh, it's really fun. And this board here is just a kind of an asymmetrical design. We found that riding backside, the curved tail and the 
in the back is, is loose, and, uh, and then the longer rail is speed. So you can go down the line with speed and cut back on the shorter rail for a little bit more turning ability. Now, when you, when you and your friends go ride these things, do you say, let's go surfing or let's go sliding? Because I've heard, I've heard people say, let's go sliding, meaning like they're going to only just go ride a lot of boards. Yeah, um, that, that, you know, <laughs> yeah. It's, I guess it's however you, you have it. surfing, man. We're going, it's all surfing. Yeah. And now, uh, what's like, what's like your day-to-day -day board? I'm sure your garage is filled with, you know, these things, some finless boards. What's like your day-to-day -day commuter surfboard? Well, in my car, I have an Alaya. And then I also have a quad fin egg. And with those, that's what I've been riding about the last six months. And that's been covering just about everything that I've run into. So that's, that's my day to day now. But I also have my 10 footer in the garage and my fish and stuff too. But right now, that's what I'm into. Okay. All right. I like that. That's a, that's a nice little quiver. Now, I've been talking to a lot of shapers, you know, Maurice Cole guys down at Plus One, uh, the Gato Haroi guy, and everybody seems to be bonded by the one fact that, that surfboard, surfboard shapers are an eccentric bunch. Well, do, you, do you feel like you have to have a certain inherent like weirdness to tinker with surfboards? A little bit, because uh, you're, you're, not gonna make, you're not making any money, so you <laughs> you got to be a little bit weird to work really hard and, 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 and watch all your friends, you know, having a little more income than you so yeah you're you're, you're definitely a little bit different that's a, that's the running theme weird and broke <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun you know you got it, it is weird because one thing as a shaper you got to be able to handle the 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 good with the bad you know you get criticized you're constantly getting criticized you, if you don't like being criticized then shaping isn't for you for sure well it's an art you know yeah. art critics abound out there uh, check this out this is art and this is rideable. Thank you so much, John. Yeah, have a this is a great weekend. Thanks to Sacred Craft. We're all down here and uh, everybody's experimenting, having fun on the beach. I'm gonna put my wetsuit on right now. I, I might I might ride that little finless wonder down there. Yeah, do it. You'll have fun. All right.